Hey, I'm Grump. I'm not so Grump. And we're the Game Grumps. Here we are. Buongiorno. Welcome. It's uh, uh, Super Mario Galaxy <laughs> 2. <laughs> yeah. Hello. And welcome to uh, our very first uh, episode of Game Grumps that has been recorded since this. Uh, <laughs> you, can't, you can't say it. Really? Yeah, you get demonetized. Really? Yeah. So I we can say that you know we can talk about it, but we can't say the like the words, you know. Is it, so all right, there's a thing going on. Maybe you've heard of it, <laughs> and this is the first episode we're recording since that happened. Yes. So, wow, really? That's so weird. They yeah, were, isn't that wild? Yeah. Thanks for letting me know. I wouldn't have had any idea that that would. Be I, I was gonna warn you ahead of time. I was like, I gotta warn Dan before we start, and then. And How then the hell are we not supposed to talk about that? It's like <laughs> it's dominating everyone's life. I don't know. They just they're they're taking they're making the videos not make money anymore. Like, okay. All right. It's well. wild. Okay. So anyway, obviously, I'm talking about the Backstreet Boys reunion tour. Um, Everybody's talking about every, it. It's I mean, it's affecting everyone's lives. <laughs> <laughs> And I, so I want to say, do you remember? Okay, so you remember the logo for Super Mario Galaxy One? Yes. And the stars on the box art are on the letters that spell out "You are Mr. Gay." That's correct. Yes. So, in this one, the stars on the box, if you put the letters backwards, it says "Yeah, I am. Are you?" Are you serious? <laughs> yeah. Oh wait, you did tell me that a long time ago. That's awesome. I'm so tired of. Nintendo pushing their hot, hot homosexual agenda <laughs> just because it's so dang hot. This, so th th this this game, of course, I've never played it because I mean, like like I play video games, but there's this came out and you don't play video games. <laughs> I mean, I do now. <gasps> Twenty you play Double Dragon, you kicked ass at that. Yeah. Twenty ten, this came out, right? 2009? Oh man, I don't know. I had to download this on the Wii U shop because I didn't- we didn't have a copy of it. I just remember that, um, this came out when I was working at GameStop because I sold a trillion of these. Really? Oh, yeah. Goodness, I saw the, the box art of this quite a bit. So you're like, man, you worked at GameStop and you- when this came out and you haven't even heard about Yeah, I Am, Are You? Yeah, you know what? Uh, that wasn't the first thing that, that Nintendo mentioned to us. <laughs> hey, when you sell this game, make sure you let people know that this they are Mr. Gay. Little piece of trivia <laughs> that definitely makes people want to buy this game. I wonder whose idea it was. What to do that? Mm -hmm. I I don't I it's. I feel like it has to be a coincidence. No, that's super bizarre, don't you think? It is. It is. It's very convenient. <laughs> <laughs> but I don't know. I mean, I don't know. They they trick you. They give you a little bait and switch in this because it starts out it's a side scroller, and then it turns into not a side scroller Ooh. after that. Isn't that wild? The strange little fellow seemed confused. I can tell by his confusion. I'm confused. <laughs> Was he lost? He seemed to take a shine to Mario. Oh, I, get uh, this thing off of my. <laughs> <laughs> He's in my head! He's in my head! <laughs> He's pooping in my hair! Mario's cap filled with warmth. <laughs> I don't like the sound of that. The yellow liquid drizzled down his face. <laughs> Very warm. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I smack the ice, but when I when I smack the toads, everything's fine. Mm. Just spin in glee. Oh, so all right, that, that's all I was going to say before, before I was so rudely interrupted by a very important piece of information that you said. Um, because the Backstreet Boys reunion tour is currently going on this year. <laughs> yes. I hope that everyone is home and safe. Yes. We are sending you our love, and we will not miss any episodes, even though the Backstreet Boys reunion tour can be extremely dangerous to some people. <laughs> Yes, and even if you are not susceptible to going to the Backstreet Boys to reunion liking Backstreet tour, Boys music, you could you could still you could end up at the tour <laughs> and in the front row. You could know that you're not even carrying tickets to it, <laughs> and they could be y y you you're could accidentally scalping them <laughs> to your entire family. 
<laughs> Backstreet's back, all right? <laughs> so please, stay indoors and stay away from the Backstreet Boys reunion tour. For the love of God. <laughs> There's plenty to do inside <laughs> that will keep you safe from the Backstreet Boys tour. <laughs> all right, just needed to say that. Maybe I'll have Peach bake me something for once. Mario, you chauvinistic bastard. No, that was Bowser, Bowser saying that. All right, okay, sorry. I sure could go for a galaxy-sized slice of cake right now. I don't. Her hands aren't big enough. Yeah, dude. she's like galaxy-sized. How dare you? <laughs> I'm way too huge for this beauty planet. Damn. The, the, are these just all like? The, the, it, I'm talking about my wiener. Like, yeah, this of course. All. I deserve an empire that's more me size. Like, like four inches. <laughs> and I'll put it in the center of the universe. But like, as thick as I am? Yeah, so like a girthy four. <laughs> just imagine. <laughs> that chody delight. <laughs> yeah, I got a squeenus, what about it? That's <laughs> what's a squeenus. That's a square penis. <laughs> Ever heard of that? <laughs> oh man. But, uh, j just to let us know, Dan and I are- are staying indoors. Yeah, uh, yeah. We- we have fully, uh, avoided- we're- we're trying as hard as we can not to be outdoors so that we can- we are not exposed to tickets to the Backstreet Boys it, Yeah, of tour. course not. Yeah, yeah. Um, so, luckily we live really close to each other, so even when there's a statewide, uh, call to stay away from tickets. Yes. We- 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 we stayed in our houses. For 12 days, um, as, uh, the market for scalp tickets to the Backstreet Boys tour ramped up around us. <laughs> so we know that we're cool, yeah, and that's why we feel comfortable we know getting we together. We don't have tickets. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In our pockets. That's how you know, 12 days. Whew! <laughs> uh, hey, take your princess to the center of the universe, you must hurry and save her. Okay. Ah, oh, oh shit! You've been harboring a traitor! <laughs> <laughs> Get him! Young Master Luma, did we get thrown overboard too? Good thing you're safe. Thank you, Piss Blobs. <laughs> I, Jizz Blob, will lead you. <laughs> I see, so you're going to stay in Mario's cap. That should be safe for now. I really don't actually like it that much. Uh, yeah. Do I get a say in this? <laughs> but Mario, you have other things to worry about. Yes, like having a clean head. Yeah, it's making the hair stand up at the end, like the one, like it's all crusty and those, <laughs> that little alfalfa. There's a getting a little yellow. <laughs> I know, with young Master Luma's help, you can use the power of the stars. We, <laughs> Luma's, can help a little too. Go, 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 go. Wow. Go, go, go. That kind of like predated the, uh, you know when you type in heart and then your phone suggests the heart emoji? Oh, yes. Yeah, it's a little bit like that, but like before, uh, before that became a thing. Whoa! Yeah, I always feel, you know what Welcome is really- Welcome St. Louis. You know what's really frustrating too is like, there's so many emojis now, mm -hmm. and oh, Pee Wee Piranha! Can't wait to meet him. <laughs> Is he going to pee in my hat too? <laughs> Will he pee or we? <laughs> oh shit! The power stars—they're gone. Some gigantic monster stole them. It's Bowser. If you're going <laughs> after that monster, you might see our power stars out there too. Please bring our power stars back. You might run into one, run into a loser. It's Luigi. <laughs> yeah. It's a brother, Luigi. Yeah. He's related to you. His stories yeah. do nothing for anyone. Um, so there's there's so many emojis now that like, I know that there's emojis that I want to use, right? And then I just don't know where they are. Mm. So, cause the, I feel like the categorization is like, okay, but it's not great. Cause when it's like, it's a dragon, like, okay, what's a, is that an object? Or is that a, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> anyway. All I know is that like, I, for some reason, and I don't consider myself to be, like, a very technologically advanced person, but, uh, it's- it was very easy for me to find the animal- smiling animals with, like, stars in their eyes thing, uh, emojis. And I sent one to Allie, like, the fox with stars in its eyes, and she was like, How the fuck did you do that? <laughs> <laughs> like, jeez, I don't know, social media manager, I kinda figured you'd know. Well, <laughs> So, the frustrating thing for me is that, like, when I'm trying to find an emoji and I can't find it, I'm like, Alright, well, whenever I write, like, cake, mm -hmm. or, like, taco, it's like suddenly there's an emoji for it that shows yes. up on my recommended. So I'm like, okay. And then I'll type, like, ah, bird, or, like, shrug, and it just won't show up. And right. Like, oh, fucking... God damn it. And then I gotta, like, go find it, and I just can't find it, and then... 
I'm like, I tried to find the bird emoji, and then they're like, oh, you mean this one? And it's like, damn it! <laughs> How did you get it? It's, oh, I just typed bird. <laughs> Son of a bitch! <laughs> <laughs> you monster! <laughs> That's my emoji story. Hey, I loved it. Thanks, man. It was beautiful. Whoa! Why did why did Luna show up there for a second? What? Oh, because whenever I spin, he comes out. Oh! Just like Pfft, I'm here. Yeah, because he's the reason I can spin like that. Oh! He uses my magic powers. Well, they saved me, but that monster got away. It's my uh, uh, over here. Oh, dude! Look at these fucking whatever these are. Peaches. Peaches grow in trees, you idiot! <laughs> oh my god, maybe, maybe they're ground peaches. <laughs> ground peaches? Yeah. Have you ever heard something so fucking weird? <laughs> <laughs> wow. The yeah, other they... Loomis told me about you. Thank you for helping us. Yeah, you're welcome. We're going to transfer into a lodge star. <laughs> Come over and fly. <laughs> <laughs> While you're here, taste one of my delicious ground peaches. <laughs> They're a thing. <laughs> yeah. Dan knows what he's talking about. <laughs> <laughs> oh, ground peaches. They're all covered in goo, too. Well, that's ground peach goo. Specifically comes from peaches that grow out of the ground. <laughs> the ground creating, peach goo. Creating the goo. <laughs> There's not regular peach goo. There's just ground peach goo. <laughs> goo. Oh, I'm playing Doom Eternal too much. I, I'm trying to hope it's like, oh, I'll hang on to the ledge. No problem. Oh, yeah. The engine's different. That is apparently what Aaron has been doing for a while. Um, playing oh. the heck out of Doom. Oh, dude, it's so good. Really? Oh, it's so good. Yeah, have you been spending your time lately? I've been playing Doom Eternal. Okay, well, there you go. Well, I- I got- it, It's either that or I obsess over work. Okay, cool, yeah. I, I can understand that. I redid like 50 thumbnails on the Game Grumps <laughs> channel. <laughs> it's like, it didn't need to happen, but I was like, well, you know, I kind of want to make these thumbnails a little different. And... Hey, man. I love it. Oh, I love this. Ah. <laughs> oh, you missed a note. Fudge! 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 Yeah! Uh, no, I didn't miss it. I got it. You did get it. Chump. Look out! Delightful one-mans are everywhere! <laughs> Get him! <laughs> Get him! They're like, oh shit! Pull the guns. <laughs> um, yeah. I have been, uh, writing and singing a lot of m music. Yeah, you, you let me listen to a little song. Yeah, yeah, there will be things coming out. I don't know, I don't know. I don't know. It's, it's, it's very exciting. It is. It's, it's very exciting, actually, because it's something... Something that... People don't usually get. Hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That's uh. Whoa. Look at that! All the way over there. Oh. oh. Well, this planet is not as cool as I hoped it would be. Yeah, I um. NASA, I found a new planet. What's on it? Like five daffodils. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it has its own environment. That's amazing. Well, no, no, that's like all it is. Yeah, yeah. It's actually it's three feet long. <laughs> There are, there's no room for new daffodils. <laughs> yeah, all the daffodil space, is, real estate is taken up. <laughs> I don't know how much that's gonna... It'll probably appreciate to quite amount of money. Probably build like a little apartment on there. Yeah. Like a tiny house. Like a, like a tiny, tiny daffodil house. As long as it like goes up, you know what I mean? <laughs> as long as it's, the house goes yeah, as up. As long as it appreciates in value, yeah, I understand. I think the I think the house will probably have a bit bigger gravitational pull than the actual planet. I've been playing close attention to the geranium market, <laughs> and so it's fine. So it's, uh, it's really high value right now. Actually, very low because of the whole um, Backstreet Boy situation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Boy, that uh, that tour really threw everything for a loop. Ah, oh, dude, the economy. As soon as as soon as they started playing, uh, it's gonna be May. Uh, that's just Justin Timberlake, dude. What? Are you serious? And that's not even Backstreet Boys, it's NSYNC. Oh my god. I'm embarrassed. <laughs> but actually not totally embarrassed. <laughs> kind of proud of myself that I didn't know enough <laughs> about the Backstreet Boys to make the correct reference. No, Backstreet Boys had Aaron Carter in it. Oh, that's right. Or Nick- Nick Carter? Is Aaron Carter the, the younger one, or is Nick- I don't know. Nick- Nick Carter's the older one. Who sang Strokin'? No, it was Clarence Carter. Oh, yeah. Sorry. I'm stroking! <laughs> Stroke to the <laughs> It's like an 85-year-old African-American man. Which one was he in the Backstreet Boys? 
Whoop, doo, whoop, that. A stroke I love doo, doo, woman, that. I learned best. That stroke is wrong. And a little claymation character in that video for no oh, reason. I didn't even know there was a music video for oh, it. Oh, yeah. That's fantastic. In the 90s, I'm sure I've talked about this before, there was a, um, there was a, a network called The Box. Oh. And so, it was MTV, which would mostly play music videos. Um, and then there was VH1. MTV stood for Music Television. Young, <laughs> Believe it or not. Kids. Yeah. And then there was VH1, which stood for Video Hits 1. And they both played, um, they both played music videos. And then there was the box, which you could- had a number that you could call into. And for 99 cents, you would get to, uh, request- it was like a jukebox. You could, re uh, request whatever song you wanted. Um, a jukebox is like old Spotify with limited songs and everything cost a dollar. <laughs> wow. <Whew. laughs> so true. Um old physical analog Spotify. I missed that stuff. I love jukeboxes. They were really cool. You they were for anyone who's never seen one, they would have records. A oh, record was an old good god. <laughs> They're still around, man. Yeah, they're still around. I, I went to a, I went to a diner that had like a like a new age jukebox. You mm -hmm. know, this is like digital. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But that's that's what I loved about the old ones. They had like all the old 45s. <laughs> Find an old jukebox for the 45. Oh, 45. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, and you you would see the the 45 get pulled out and put on the yeah. record player, and then the music would start. It was very cool. Especially when I was a kid. Yeah, stuff like that, like little mechanical things. I, I, I still love love that kind of stuff. You know what I saw? Uh, excuse me. In a movie from the 80s for the first time in forever. Do you remember cigarette machines? Yeah. Yeah. And you put it in and push it in and pull it out. Yeah, and, you, know. you had like the little pull tabs and it would pull out a box of cigarettes. I mean, obviously, I never smoked cigarettes because... My dad did, so it was like the least rebellious thing I could have done, you know. Well, for me, it was it was a different thing. It was uh, like stickers. It was like holofoil stickers. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. You'd get you, that were at like the boys and girls club or like I remember those. Like a yeah, blockbuster video or whatever, right in the where you walk in. Maybe with the gumball machines. That was nice. I think they still have gumball machines, right? Gumball, gumball machines, machines they still have. They definitely still have the big ones that swirl around and around and around. Oh, yeah. And you get to hypnotize yourself by yeah, watching you get, it. you get dinner and a show. <laughs> Just for Dinner quarter. and tournament. <laughs> that was pretty good, man. Cruise right through that. You got mm -hmm. Pee Wee Piranha's Temper Tantrum, Sky Galaxy <laughs> Station star. You got a star. Yep, thanks. You got some star bits. Mm, you know, I love to eat those. Got some coins. <laughs> you know it. I'm gonna use those to buy some bits. You got tickets to the Backstreet Boys? No! <laughs> Dang it! <laughs> I'm gonna have to get some Mucinex to keep these tickets away. <laughs> <laughs> See, this Mario guy, my little Loomers, won't stop babbling about him, am I right? He started to hear about the excitement he had with that monster down in the Mushroom Kingdom. <laughs> Sorry <laughs> about my sons, they're not old enough for pants. <laughs> I appreciate him bringing us this Power Star, though. You know, it's like you can... You can show, because the, the, they're just babies, but it's like once they get to an age, it's like, oh, you can't see you got more pants. Anyway, we need as many of this as we can get. The name's Lubba, by the by. I'm the head honcho of this Luba crew. <laughs> see, believe it or not, we're on a spaceship right now. Took some real elbow grease to convert this little planetoid into a ship, but we Lubas pulled it off. <laughs> May not look like much, but it's home. Bathroom's over there. <laughs> Just kidding. The bathroom's right here. It's called my pants. <laughs> you just shit into space. You just have to push hard enough and it'll exit the atmosphere. It'll you know, float off into the galaxy. <laughs> and you won't have to deal with it until Mario Galaxy 3. <laughs> when it locks into orbit. <laughs> Truth be told. It's like, it's like Saturn. This is a ring of shit. <laughs> Truth be told, the ship, she's not in much hot shape right now. We ran into that monster, Spouser. He had blasted us with meteors, and some of my crew were thrown overboard. So that, just like the shit. Mario's just like, oh my god, I don't care. <laughs> it's so fucking boring. <laughs> so that monster kidnapped your princess, eh? That's cold. Deep space cold, if you ask me. <laughs> you know what else is cold? A I witch's tit! <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I... Don't know what came over, but... <laughs> <laughs> it's 
and milk as dry as powder. <laughs> That monster's stealing every last one of our power stars. See, that's our fuel. Our spaceship runs on energy from star. Well, but we don't say star. We just speak that one in emojis. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Dude. Plus, I try to use it to cover up the fact that I'll be shoving my children into the engine to power my ship. <laughs> <laughs> so we can run on their energy. Our spaceship runs on energy from... Wink. Yeah. Our spaceship <laughs> runs on energy from... A tiny wheel and one frantic hamster. <laughs> it's like when you have your like your pets around and you don't want to say like treat time or something, so you're yeah. like, <laughs> our spaceship runs on energy from S T A R S. Mm. Wink. <laughs> and one of them was like, I can spell. Like, ah, put him down. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I just mean P U T M D O W N. Hey, yo, is that a uh, young Master Luma? It is, isn't it? Wow. <laughs> Wait, if we have the trust of young Master Luma, hmm. Say, I might have a little proposition for you. Hear me out. Special someone got kidnapped and now you gotta save her, am I right? Uh. <laughs> I can't decide. Yeah. Brain aneurysm. <laughs> hmm, okay. Why don't you put on my pants and take a big dump in them? And we need fuel for our <laughs> ship. Now, if you think you could get some of our star back for us. I'd be willing to make this ship your very own for a bit. You're like, you got it. And you just grab his kids out of the air. <laughs> Wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah. Those are my children's. All right, it's a deal. I meant someone else's star children. <laughs> right or mine. Okay, gang, let's get cracking. Yeah, I want everything spaceship shape. Spaceship shape, spaceship shape, shape, shape. Ooh, that's tough. I remember there was a... Uh... God, there was a... I... I... I came up with an animation like a long time ago that I never made. It was about this. It was. It was like, uh. I'll wait till this is done. Oh, well, what, what do you think? What do you think? <laughs> what do you think? <laughs> <laughs> nice spaceship, yeah, more like a fish ship. <laughs> God, I wish I wasn't stuck on a planet with you. <laughs> Woohoo! Well, at least you'll never lose it in a parking lot, am I right? <laughs> Are you nude? <laughs> I know about cars. Well, so what's next? Don't look at me. This ship has your face on it, not mine. The decision is yours. <laughs> Feel free to explore Starship Mario. <laughs> I named it for you. <laughs> or take the helm if you're ready to ship out. It's your call, Captain. <laughs> okay. So I came up with this bit, because uh, I think it's here. If you go to the bottom... Oh, maybe it's not here. Maybe it's after like a little bit. There's like a Yoshi egg. It okay. just like appears, or like maybe you bring it here or something, but it like stays there for a while. And I don't remember what the what the the game or the joke was, but like it was basically like you you're bringing an alien creature onto this this planet. It's gonna it's gonna eat all my children. Like what do you do? And he's like woohoo! Like he doesn't, <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't give a shit. I love he's like, that. Yippee! He's like we gotta get it off. We got it enough. You ever seen Alien? Like it's it's gonna kill us all. And he's like, yippee! <laughs> yeah. Oh, he just like runs and flies off. I love it. <laughs> Man, that is very much like 2011 Aaron style. <laughs> yeah. Oh. I'm just escalating emotion. <laughs> Somebody that doesn't give a shit. <laughs> oh. <laughs> it is a face ship. <laughs> I'm not afraid to die. <laughs> yeah. Look at me! So this is the world map. Just quit breaking the fourth wall, dude. <laughs> Just point your uh, at your destination <laughs> and press ah uh, to jump into that <laughs> galaxy. <laughs> Just like sex. <laughs> like I said, this spaceship runs on energy from uh, power stars. <laughs> oh, he actually said it this time. Yeah, look at that. Right now, it looks like we've got enough power to go uh, this far. <laughs> We're gonna need more uh, power stars. So let's do it for your princess and my crew. Take it away, Captain. <laughs> Wow, all right. I love it. Sky Station. Is that where I just was? It, it is. Because otherwise it'd say new, Aaron. The Yoshi Star. You want to go to Yoshi Star? We're going to go to Yoshi Star. Yoshi Star, Aaron. Go to Yoshi Star. I'm going to do it. Just do it. You I should do it right now. Just do it. Don't saddle up with Yoshi. <laughs> I don't know why it's so much fun to talk like that. <laughs> Excuse me. It just kind of rolls out, you know? It's like, I mean, I just want to say these words and I just can't even say them. <laughs> I just want to say the words. 
Saddle up with Yoshi, dog. It's like all vowels. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> you know mm. what I mean? Uh, oh, oh. I'm playing too much Doom. All I wanted to do was like turn around and look for a one up. An extra life. Is what boop, they call boop, boop. I haven't even seen the new Doom. Is it super tasty? Oh my god, it's fucking awesome. I was too busy watching uh, a horror movie from my youth that I hadn't seen in forever. Ch check out Jacob's Ladder, everyone, if you're in the mood for a, a good rom-com. Yeah, you were talking about that earlier. Yeah, that... My god, the the commercials for that movie terrified me when I was a kid. What, really? Yeah. It's it's a scary movie. It's about a, a Vietnam veteran, uh, who is, uh, wounded in action, and when he returns home, he starts, uh, seeing, uh, demons everywhere. Oh, neat. Yeah, it's fun. It's a lighthearted romp. Are they actually demons, or is it all in his head? What an excellent question, Aaron. I guess you'll just have to watch the movie. But it's totally worth watching. It, it's- it's a- it's a great film. Um... It, as long as you're not severely disturbed or upset by stuff like that. Which many of you will be, so... Approach with caution. Well, it's like I was just hearing about that movie Green Room or whatever, and it's like really like well shot and well made, but it's like really upsetting. Yeah, a lot of them are. So it's like, I don't do I wanna see it? <laughs> yeah. My mom was telling me, like, th about this Japanese movie that she had been, um... Someone had told her to see. Haosu? I don't think that's it. It's about a couple... Some people... Uh, Spoiler alert for this movie if you've Wait, never seen sorry, it. Sorry, I don't mean to interrupt. Yes. How come there's like shitty Goombas and then there's like regular Goombas? Like I don't you know. notice that? These are like shitty Goombas. Yeah, they they're they're like bootleg Goombas. Yeah, yeah. They're Boombas. But they're okay. not they're not Galoombas, which are a different thing. Right, right. They're just like Goombas that look dumb. They're a little garbagey. But then th but earlier uh, there were regular Goombas. <laughs> Aaron you were preaching to the choir, my man. <laughs> anyway, sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt. It's been driving me insane, and I just forgot <laughs> to mention it. I really like also that all of the bugs that you've left to their own devices have accidentally fallen off the stage. Oh, yeah, well, I mean, that's that's the destiny of these, uh, these places. Like, there's nowhere else to go. I mean, this is the ultimate Backstreet Boys world tour analogy. <laughs> You're just stuck on this one planet. Yeah, you can't go anywhere or do any- you just gotta make do with what you got. Backstreet is most certainly back all right here. <laughs> <laughs> all right. But don't worry. Oh. The tour will clear up eventually. <laughs> you just gotta ride it out, man. Just gotta- you gotta, just gotta chill and make your own fun. Wait, what? Um... But yeah, that- that Japanese movie she was watching, a couple is like falling off a cliff. And like the whole movie is them hanging on for dear life on the edge of the cliff. And at the end they fall. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Yeah. It's- that's the- I- I feel like it- in an, an American movie studio would have been like... You know, we gotta find a way to... have a slightly happier ending. Oh, if they like remade it? Like yeah. Like they remade Old Boy and nobody gave a shit? I don't know what Old Boy is. Old Boy... is it a Japanese film? Is it about a guy who like gets kidnapped and put into a room for like... So like... 16 years or something. Oh my god. And then when he busts out, he like tries to get revenge on who put him out in there. Mm -hmm. And then there's just twists and turns. But anyway, it's like very artfully done. And it's like it's like kind of gross. Um, but then they remade it for an American audience, like starring Will Smith, I think. <laughs> and it's like What uh, can't he star in? <laughs> it's, it's a, this is such a weird film to have such like a like a like a mainstream actor to be like, he's like right. hey, I'm Will Smith, I crack jokes and shit, and it's like... This isn't like a Will Smith movie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's kind of like, gross and weird, and in the end it's like, oh god, like, Yeah. Fair enough. Did you see the live-action Aladdin? Yes. Did you like it? No. <laughs> it's god-awful. Okay. You want to talk about it next time on Game Grumps? Yeah. Alright. Let's do that. I was trying to save my friends, but then I got turned into an egg. You can talk! Oh my god, when was that a thing? I don't know. Uh, he's like, oh yeah, sorry, I, I mean, uh... <laughs> sheep you! Boop-boo! <laughs> 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 <laughs>
Yeah. He like <laughs> his speaking voice is all normal. Like, oh, sorry, man. I, I meant uh, <laughs> goodbye. Oh, and it goes without saying. Um, stay home, stay safe from Backstreet Boys tour. And uh, if you already have tickets to the Backstreet Boys <laughs> reunion tour. Uh, we love you, and we're sending you our best, and, uh, hopefully you'll have a nice and quick recovery. <laughs> from the tour. From the, from the tour. Okay, bye. Mwah. But make sure, after that tour experience, you'd stay inside. Yes. To you're, you're gonna want to really sit around it. and think about what you just saw on that stage. And you really don't want to get anyone else excited about the Backstreet Boys tour, because the moment if you went to that tour and you share that experience with somebody, they're gonna get tickets. Yeah, yeah, they'll run out and get tickets right away. They'll be like, Backstreet's back? All right! <laughs> <laughs> All right, <laughs> see ya. <laughs> <laughs>